Spinal stenosis is a relatively common um, diagnosis that we see in the physical therapy clinic. Uh, by definition, spinal stenosis is a narrowing effect or a narrowing of the spinal column um, and causing a pressure into the spinal cord or a narrowing of the openings where the spinal nerves travel. Uh, those are called the foramen and when the spinal nerves are traveling out of those openings, they can be compressed. Uh, and, and thus uh, you know, cause a lot of neurological signs and symptoms into the leg. Um, the signs and symptoms can include all, all the kinds of things you see with your other nerve root problems such as pain, numbness, weakness, and, and pins and needles. Um, the cause of the spinal stenosis is often a, a, a flattening out or degenerative process in the discs, pushing into these structures. Um, narrowing these, these tissues and causing, uh, causing the symptoms. The, the hallmark of a spinal stenosis patient though is very, very different from the classic herniated discs and sciaticas that we see in that the spinal stenosis patient will have a big problem with their standing and their walking tasks. When you stand and when you walk, that's when the degenerative disc presses further into the structures uh, pressing into the nerve roots um, causing the symptoms. These patients classically uh, can have, cannot stand standing and walking, they can't tolerate it and it, almost like magic they can feel 100% better in a sitting or a stooped position. Uh, and when you hear that you're starting to think spinal stenosis. Um, it does require a fair amount of degeneration so usually a stenosis patient is going to be a little older, uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, etc. Um, because you need a little bit of a drying out effect in the disc and that takes time. Um, so you're going to look for an older patient uh, maybe and, and or the symptoms associated with standing and walking being the hallmark. Um, it, it is very treatable uh, and usually what we teach these patients is to try to utilize some flexion stretches such as pulling your knees into your chest or just simply bending to touch your toes uh, and using these kind of exercises just before heading out to do errands or some chores. Uh, and certainly when you get back home to try to find some time to do it again to turn off some of the symptoms that may have occurred during the walking. So a pre and a post walking sort of stretching plan and that usually helps these patients quite a bit. If you're finding it to be spinal stenosis and the diagnosis is correct, uh, strengthening exercises have little effect on the tissue. It's really knowing what muscles and ligaments and, and structures to stretch and more importantly when, when to stretch them. If you're home watching television for most of the day, you're not going to need to do it. You're not going to feel the symptoms because you're just sitting all day. But as soon as you know you're about to head out, that's when you know you're going to want to uh, try to stretch and exercise.